Chapter 7 When he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. And a certain centurion's servant was sick and ready to die, which was dear unto him. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. So they came to Jesus and besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy that he should do this for him. For he loveth, said they, our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. Then Jesus went with them. But when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wherefore I thought not myself worthy to come unto thee, but say the word, and my servant shall be whole. For I likewise am a man set under authority, and have under me soldiers, and I say unto one, Go, and he that he goeth, and to another come, and he cometh, and to my servant do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and turned him, and said to the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And when they that were sent turned back to the house, they found the servant that was sick whole. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain. And many of his disciples went with him and a great multitude. Now when he came near to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, who was the only begotten son of his mother, which was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said unto her, Weep not. And he went and touched the coffin. And they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. Then there came a fear on them all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet is risen among us, and God hath visited his people. And this rumor of him went forth throughout all Judea, and throughout all the region round about. And the disciples of John showed him of all these things. So John called unto him two certain men of his disciples, and sent them to Jesus, saying, Art thou he that should come, or shall we wait for another? And when the men were come unto him, they said, John Baptist hath sent us unto thee, saying, Art thou he that should come, or shall we wait for another? And at that time he cured many of their sicknesses and plagues and of evil spirits, and unto many blind men he gave sight freely. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Go your ways and show John what things ye have seen and heard, that the blind see, the halt go, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor receive the gospel. And blessed is he that shall not be offended in me. And when the messengers of John were departed, he began to speak unto the people of John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind. But what went ye out to see? A man clothed in soft raiment. Behold, they which are gorgeously apparelled and live delicately are in king's courts. But what went ye forth to see? A prophet. Yea, I say unto you, and greater than a prophet. This is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. For I say unto you, There is no greater prophet than John, among them that are begotten of women, nevertheless, he that is the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. Then all the people that heard and the publicans justified God, being baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and the expounders of the law despised the counsel of God against themselves and were not baptized of him. And the Lord said, Whereunto shall I liken the men of this generation? And what thing are they like unto? They are like unto little children sitting in the marketplace and crying one to another and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned to you, and ye have not wept. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and ye say he hath the devil. Son of man is come, and eateth and drinketh, and ye say, Behold, a man which is a glutton and a drinker of wine, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of all her children. And one of the Pharisees desired him, that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house, and sat down at table. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at table in the Pharisee's house, she brought a box of ointment. 
And she stood at his feet behind him, weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee which bade him saw it, he spake within himself, saying, If this man were a prophet, he would surely have known who and what manner of woman this is which toucheth him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he said, Master, say on. There was a certain lender which had two debtors. The one ought five hundred pence, and the other fifty. When they had nothing to pay, he forgave them both. Which of them therefore, tell me, will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast truly judged. Then he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? I entered into thine house, and thou gavest me no water to my feet, but she hath washed my feet with tears, and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but she, since the time I came in, hath not ceased to kiss my feet. Mine head with oil thou didst not anoint, but she hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, Many sins are forgiven her, for she loved much. To whom a little is forgiven, he doth love a little. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven thee. And they sat at table with him, began to say within themselves, Who is this that even forgiveth sins? And he said to the woman, Thy faith hath saved thee. Go in peace. God bless and carry on.